Bitcoin receiving a quick pump up to the yearly highs and then a very swift rejection immediately after. Are the baby bears ready to take charge and give Bitcoin a much awaited dump? Or are the moon boys about to give the bears something that they won't soon forget? With Bitcoin starting off this day, actually initiating a pretty quick mega move on the hourly chart. However, it was quickly followed by a very fast dump back to uh, levels we were trading at yesterday. Uh, is Bitcoin showing signs it's about to get rejected big time? Or in fact, has this now laid the groundwork for a new high and a bigger bust? So if you love getting pumped on, dumped on, and everything in between, hit that like, hit that subscribe, get signed up to Femex below if you wanna buy Bitcoin or altcoins. Without any further ado, let's absolutely take a look at these charts and some completely mind-numbing data as well. Um, absolutely crazy. So if we even go to the uh, hourly or the four-hour chart, if we zoom in real quick here, you can see massive run-up started to happen. If we actually go to the one-hour, you can see it did happen in the one-hour chart. Yeah. So what? 52, a little above 52,000 straight up to about 53 and then a quick very quick rejection. You can see um, really just how it immediately got rejected exactly at this exact same level I've had on here for about a week, ever since we kind of initially came up to it um, last week. 53 it was a very quick re rejection. This is literally exactly 53,000 US dollars. Got a very quick rejection exactly on it. And now the price is trending downwards a little bit. Um, but it is not just Bitcoin. If we go to the uh, SPX, for example, doesn't look great. This is the very first day of trading this week because yesterday was a holiday and the markets were closed. You can see that, you know, this is not pumpy. In fact, the SPX is down um, a little over half a percent today. Um, and if we look at a couple other charts, uh, actually, we also have the DXY dumping, which is interesting considering that, um, you know, usually if the stock market pumps, the DXY dumps and vice versa. But we see the stock market and the, the DXY on a little bit of a downward trend today. And Bitcoin itself is actually doing something extremely big. And I want to talk about that. But before we do, let's take a look at this. The dump that we saw today liquidated over half a billion dollars. Um, can we run for real now? CTO Larson asks. The guy who said yesterday that won't be any more market manipulations because of ETFs. Um, he's basically saying, yeah, there will still be you know, flash crashes, flash dumpies and flash pumpies. Um, absolutely, there always will be probably, but we're also seeing that a billion dollars of USDT or a billion USDT was just minted at the treasury. And my response, I think it kind of speaks for itself, okay? This is potentially could be alarmingly big. Um, so we indeed did tap 53,000 again today um, what Bitcoin Munger says is that he could envision longs at 51,000 getting wiped before then exploding to finally break 53, 54K. Um, he's saying here basically shorts are still absolutely not safe and will be wiped out in due time. Obviously, in my opinion, very, very big time. I think shorts will get absolutely decimated. In fact, we're at the beginning of a bull market. Um, you can expect shorts to get um, shorts to get completely destroyed for the next year plus. Um, 100% in my opinion. And you can just see his, um, or the chart here kind of just showing where a lot of that liquidity is as well. So that's extremely big. Um, Bitcoin is floating above a trillion dollars in market cap while the US markets had a three day, uh, had been closed for three days and Bitcoin was still holding. I mean, that's pretty, pretty interesting as well, right? Um, over the last couple of days during the weekend trading, Bitcoin has been kind of just floating up at this level here. Not bad. Um, I mean, if we even zoom out a little bit to the weekly, you can see just floating up in this range. Um, I mean, that's not bearish to me, right? It doesn't, doesn't seem very bearish to me. And also Bitcoin Munger posting some quote unquote bull porn. Uh, gold fractal post ETF launch takes us to about half a, half a million dollars per Bitcoin by mid 2025. If again, if Bitcoin would do something similar. Uh, while this move would take place in a fraction of the time than it did for gold, Bitcoin moves much faster and can be observed by current flows uh, one month of Bitcoin ETF flows is already over a year of gold ETF flows. The interest in the Bitcoin ETFs absolutely is much greater than the gold ETF flows ever 
achieved. In fact, these Bitcoin ETFs, as myself and many people have been saying, are probably going to go down as the most successful ETFs in the history of mankind. Um, on-chain college pointing out that we see a lot of activity on-chain during cycle peaks, which are these green circles, and bear market bottoms are the red circles. We are still early in the Bitcoin cycle. And this is the we are still early indicator, apparently. Very interesting. I've never seen this before. It's very cool, very chill. Um, but just further evidence that, or further data to kind of verify um, kind of where we are in this cycle. We have a long way to go, long way to go. Money, but much busting to go. Um, the first 250,000 Bitcoin for these new, t new ETFs was the easiest, says Thomas here. Um, I expect another 250,000 Bitcoin to, we'll send the price to $100,000 per Bitcoin. We'll see, he says. And you can see the ETF Bitcoin holdings right here. Um, extremely big, extremely, extremely, extremely massively big. But we're also seeing over 3,000, almost 4,000 Bitcoin, about $200 million worth of Bitcoin being sold by the GBTC uh, or the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust today. So we're still having selling pressure. In fact, you know, if it's Genesis, we're, we're seeing increased selling pressure for, I believe, a, you know, maybe the next week, couple weeks. Uh, it's going to be temporary, absolutely, in my opinion. But yeah, we are seeing selling pressure. And I think that's why Bitcoin is uh, at where it's at. But we have not actually seen a massive dump yet. And that's what I'm very curious. That's what I'm really inter interested to see over these next few weeks, especially so early on. It's only been a month, basically, since these ETFs started trading. If we're going to get if we're still gonna get massive dumps and if they get, if they become sustained dumps or if they kind of get bought up right away. That's absolutely something that we have not had answered yet. You know, uh, are these ETFs going to allow mega sustained dumps? We've already seen one dump, the ETF approval dump, and then it quickly got bought back up and went higher after the ETFs were approved. But will these ETFs allow for Bitcoin to get dumped on and then sustained dumpage without much buying pressure? Because Nobody knows the answer to that yet. We haven't seen it. Bitcoin ETFs have only been out for like a little over a month. And we don't know exactly the dynamic they're going to play when it comes to these longer dumps. Um, will they allow it, basically? Or will they just get bought up and kind of keep us it, cemented at these higher than expected support levels? We don't know yet. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. And GBTC sending again about 3,000 to Coinbase. Um, it was updated. It's actually more than that, about almost 4,000. But uh, what British Huddle says here is the bullish case for Bitcoin is net 1% of assets under management, which would be 130 trillion for top 500 asset managers flowing into Bitcoin, uh, meaning that a price of, I mean, this is uh, what, a price of 7.3 million. That's the bullish case is 2%, which is a price of 14 million. If we get anything above 3% of assets under management in my lifetime. So this is not something I believe that he's talking about in the next few years this is probably like further down the road i would assume because this is in fact extremely bullish and it makes me feel like i'm simply not bullish enough reading numbers like that um i feel very not bullish enough when i read things like that you know am i potentially still not even close to being bullish as i should be as bullish as i should be hey it's possible and we are seeing the etf stacking about ten thousand dollars of bitcoin per day sitting right now around two hundred and sixty thousand bitcoin we're about to see the halving uh and he, the Bitcoin mindset says here, and you wonder how we're coming up with a half a million Bitcoin price target by 2026. Um, very interesting. You know, will we get a mega dump? Will Bitcoin's trajectory be changed forever? It's very possible. Now, we are seeing today as I'm recording a continued actual um, dumpulation for Bitcoin. The lows that we initially put back uh, on February 17th, so three days ago, are going to be interesting to see if we go below those lows. That's kind of the target I'm looking for to the downside here. As I've also been pointing out, this target right here, uh, first pit stop, you know, maybe around 47, but ultimately I think there will be massive support. And I'll pull out the weekly so you can kind of see that more so. Massive support if we would go all the way down to 44,000. So, guys, even though I'm bullish, I'm saying that it's possible we could see a $44,000 Bitcoin. Is that because? I'm bearish on it? Absolutely not. It would just be normal technical analysis, normal pullbacks in a normal bull market. The question now though is, is this a normal bull market? That's the bigger question. Because if this was 100% just a normal bull market without this change dynamic of the Bitcoin spot ETFs, then I would be thinking, okay, yeah, I think we will probably see a pullback when we initiate one to at least probably maybe the $44,000 level, 40, 47 minimum, but 44,000. Now, the thing is, you know, that's, that's what I've been talking about this whole video. Is the dynamic different? Will we actually get a sustained pullback all the way down to something like this? Um, there is so much support below us. It would be a very massive bear trap, in my opinion, meaning let's say we did have a massive dump like this. People get very scared. 
this would be the next move in my opinion if if um if that's what happened uh we're still way too early to tell this we're still above fifty thousand us dollars at this point right the bigger question or the bigger thing we should be asking ourselves is can we even go below fifty thousand dollars um which would put us kind of right take us all the way back to february 12th so literally a week ago literally eight days ago isn't that crazy um that Bitcoin's been going up so much that if we would have a massive pullback down to just 50,000, uh, which we've already dumped a couple thousand dollars, but if we even dumped another like 1.5 or so and came down to 50, that would take us all the way back to the price action of seven days ago. So man, very big. Yeah, looking at this chart, yeah, we are right now holding on the top of this potential. Uh, it was the upper head resistance, overhead resistance. Is this going to play any support or are we gonna fall straight back into this bad boy? right down to about maybe 47 is the first stop and then dumpier i think the lowest we could see right here if we actually get a real dump is about 44,000. so yeah absolutely ginormous and get signed up to femex below if you want to buy bitcoin or altcoins without any further ado